Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about one of the first little severe weather episodes that we're going to be having tomorrow for some of the south central regions of the United States. Now, we're going to be looking at our convective available potential energy, also known as CAPE, and we measure this uh, from a scale of zero to into the, th into the thousands, and really we look for those 1,000 and 2,000 numbers as our kind of... Uh, thresholds for certain amounts of severe weather. Anytime you get over a thousand, you're looking at a pretty good shot at thunderstorms. And every time you're looking at over two thousand, you're looking at a good shot of very severe thunderstorms. Uh, and, it, and it's give or take because this can vary a lot. Sometimes you see severe weather with thunderstorms that have under one thousand cape, but definitely the cape helps thunderstorms develop. So we're going to be looking at this. And you can see once it hits pink, that's when you're at 2,000. And once it hits kind of that uh, more purple, uh, different shade of purple, maybe magenta, that's when you're at 1,000. And under that, the darker purple color is kind of when you're under 1,000. So keep that in mind when you're looking at this. Now, here's starting out. This is kind of tonight, early, early, early tomorrow. And tomorrow's Wednesday, the 6th, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Uh, it depends when you're watching this obviously now and here's in a few hours after that maybe five hours after that you can see some of those pinker colors showing up or the lighter magentas into the Oklahoma Texas area and uh, and then we're gonna skip probably about eight hours here and you can see a lot of those pinks and magentas showing up there for Oklahoma Texas Kansas Missouri Arkansas uh, and, and that's really going to lead to a lot of potential for some of these thunderstorms to be quite strong or even severe here. Uh, so we're going to be looking here at 19Z Tuesday. So this is the same frame from the first Cape frame that I showed you. And you see nothing's happening yet uh, there for Oklahoma and Texas. There's some thunderstorms to your southeast in Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas. We were seeing these already today. Right now, I'm look I was looking at them a second ago, so we already have thunderstorms there. Uh, and then we see some little showers and sprinkles showing up a few hours after that. And that's due to the Cape uh, leading us to get some convection here. Uh, and then I'm going to skip three more hours, and you can see some of those reds and yellows showing up there for southwest Missouri, north northwest uh, Arkansas as well, possibly even northeast Oklahoma. Going to get on, going gonna to get on in some of that. Uh, and and then we skip a few hours here again, and you can see Missouri and Arkansas are filling in with a lot of thunderstorms. Uh, but this most likely isn't the biggest risk for severe weather. Those are going to probably be thunderstorms, but they're not the biggest risk. Uh, we move on one frame, and you can kind of see we're going to be seeing some thunderstorms develop for the Oklahoma and northern Texas area and southeastern Kansas. And this is where more of that severe weather is possible. And I'm going to move on one more. And you can see some of those bigger, darker shades of reds, uh, little thunderstorms or cells in there in the northeastern portion of Oklahoma. And this is really the biggest severe weather threat is these could be supercells uh, or single cellular thunderstorms. And these tend to be quite strong. The other ones were multicellular. And they tend to maybe bring some wind or hail, uh, but not be quite as strong as the supercell or single cell thunderstorms. So that's the potential we're looking at right now. And you can see once we move on to 0Z Thursday, so that's approximately 9 p.m. tomorrow, which is Wednesday the 6th again, uh, we see pretty much mo everything move out of Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, and more of those multicellular thunderstorms for Illinois, Indiana, and Kentucky. There's still a risk of severe thunderstorms there. Uh, that's just not uh, quite as good of a chance there. Now, here's your convective outlook by uh, the National Weather Service. You can see in the lighter shade of green, that's where we're expecting thunderstorms to be possible. And in your darker shade of green there, that's where we expect a marginal risk of severe weather from Dallas up through Oklahoma City and up into the northwestern Arkansas, southern Missouri, and kind of some of those portions of southern Illinois and Indiana, uh, as well as a lot of Kentucky there. Now, here's a zoomed-in look again. So you can see Fort Smith, Oklahoma City, Wichita Falls, uh, Dallas, Springfield, Sykeston, I've never heard of that place, uh, and possibly even Louisville getting a little bit of that severe weather there. Anyway, guys, stay safe during this severe thunderstorm. Let me know if, or the severe thunderstorm, uh, kind of little tiny outbreak here. Now, let me know if you enjoyed this type of video, this style, because this is what I expect to be bringing throughout the spring and throughout the summer. So I would really appreciate feedback on this type of uh, coverage for severe outbreaks in those sorts of events. Anyway, guys, have a great week and stay safe if this is going to affect you.